Uh, Nebraska played great. Uh, you know, we were uh, we were concerned with their dribble penetration, their ability to get to the free throw line. Uh, so we we tried to plug up the lane a little bit early. Uh, to their credit, uh, they made us pay with the three point shot, uh, and that that kind of got the crowd into the game and got us off to a rough start. And then we're fighting an uphill battle uh, the rest of the game. Uh, having said that, you know we cut it to 13 at halftime. Uh, we scored on eight out of 12 possessions to start the second half, uh, but they scored on nine out of 12, and our 13 point deficit was still a 13 point deficit. Um, you know, six, seven minutes in when we were pretty efficient offensively against a very good defensive team. So, um, you know, we had no answer for them defensively. Uh, they won the 50-50 plays uh, today. Uh, but, uh, you know, they played like a veteran def uh, veteran team that was desperate for a win. And uh, they were really good today. Questions for you, John? Guess when you guys fell down 16-18 there late in the first half, well, we had a couple possessions, and a couple guys said it in the in the timeout. There's no 18 point play. You know, we took a quick three, I think, from the top, um, and then you know tried to. I think we tried to get one in, inside, and we over dribbled, and they came in and stripped it. And um, you know, our message to the guys: when you get in that situation, you don't you don't go faster, you go slower. You don't throw less passes, you throw more passes. You don't cut less, you cut more. Um, so you know we. To, their, to our credit, we got back in the game against a very good defensive team. Um, but uh, it's too big a hill to climb in, in this environment today. Greg, what happened in the first half between you and Miles on the double technical? I don't know. You have to ask the referee. What were you upset about? I have to ask the referee what it was about. What were you upset about? Uh, I've answered the question. Uh, their defense was, I mean, they, everybody knows, everybody in this room knows how good they are on the defensive end. And we put some new plays in. We executed the new plays that we put in it. But at the end of the day, we just didn't, we just couldn't get going, really. And they set the tone early. How much of an impact did it have, the fact that they hit some threes, got the crowd going, and built the lead early? Uh, like Coach said, uh, our game plan all week was to pack the paint. And... We'll adjust later, but pack the paint and play inside out, and their inside out game was working today. So, honestly, I can speak for myself and the rest of the guys that were behind coach, coach's back with whatever game plan he sets in, and for us going forward. So, when teams hit a couple shots, they get going, and then they just get comfortable sometimes, and we just didn't break rhythm. With that being said, we, we played in and out, and we just short closeouts like we've been doing all year. We did against Gonzaga, and guys got comfortable, and when you – I mean, I don't know, Palmer hit six threes. So when you get comfortable, you see a couple go, it just, the rim gets a whole lot bigger. As you said, what, what does it take to do that sooner on the road? Well, you got to make some shots. You have to get some stops, and, and uh, you have to get stops first. And uh, it, it's going to be mind boggling the, the number of points they scored after like a 50 50 scrum situation. Uh, where the ball is bouncing around and they end up with it. And, and a lot of those possessions, they hit a three or they went to the free throw line because um, we didn't just get it put, put back together after we didn't get it. So, um, you know, that's it, it's, it's tough. Uh, it's, it's a great environment today. The crowd was great, uh, uh, like we thought it would be. Um, but you just you can't dig a hole like that in, in an environment like this and expect to survive. And you guys work a lot on that's back to put it together after situations like that. But how much did it take the point out of your sales in situations where you had to lead the 10 or 11 and you get a stop, either turn it over on the outlet pass or don't corral the rebound and they hit a three on you guys? Yeah, I mean, I think Coach hit on it. Uh, <clears throat> well, I mean, our first, I couldn't tell you what they were shooting on our first pos like first shot defense, but like Coach said, we just didn't get them off the glass. We didn't rebound. And with that being said, they had uh, 19, sec 19 second chance points. So, I mean, we can clean that up if we just get a couple of rebounds and like the outlet pass you said, just being the guy's eyes that you're throwing it to. But I think that's huge. We we talked about it in the locker room. Sometimes, I mean, we got the lead from like 20 to 10 and trying to get it to four, but we just didn't get the defensive rebound when we needed to. Just 
from your perspective, this is the first road test for this team, and obviously, you know, as we talk about the environment, but what do you think about the way the guys sort of handled it? What you see from each other in the huddles, especially early? I mean, I don't, I don't know, did, did it play a factor, do you think, in terms of just not being able to get comfortable? Yeah, I think, I mean, everybody in this, everybody in the crowd is looking around like, do we handle it well? Probably not, because we got beat by 20, so probably didn't handle it right uh, the way we should have to you guys, but I think we, we, I mean, we have a tight-knit group. We talk about it all the time. We're together, and I think that we can only go up from here. I mean, like you said, we're young. We're, I mean, this is the first time I've played in that environment. I mean, at Nebraska, obviously, and the first time a lot of us played here. So with that being said, I think we just we grew up a little bit, even though the score sheet doesn't show. I think we, we learned a lot, and we stuck together. And going forward, this is going to be huge for us as we get into Feb- late February and early March. Uh, for Coach McDermott, um, you said they're a veteran team desperate for a win. Why do you think they were desperate for a win? Well, they lost a tough one Wednesday at Minnesota that they probably should have won. You know, they had it in control, and some things kind of went haywire on them. And we've beaten them seven times in a row. So talk about desperation. So, you know, these those seniors got a lot of pride. They play a lot of basketball. They've won a lot of games. Um, you know, Glenn Watson is I've known him since he was 16 years old. He's got he's a tough tough little cookie and uh, played a great game today. Great. You might have touched on this, but just offensively, um, did you feel like the guys settled in in the second half? I mean, what what was the difference? Just making shots, or what did you see the, the difference was in the second half? Uh, it moved a little bit better. Uh, our, our screening was a little bit better. I think we back cut a little bit more, and, and that loosened up things on the perimeter. Uh, as Mitch said, we executed some things that we hadn't run yet this year really well. Uh, we were able to free some guys up from shots. We, you know, we scored out of timeouts. We scored on some OB plays. Uh, Nebraska doesn't give up many points on out of bounds plays, so we were able to do that. And I felt we were going to need to do that if we were going to come in here and be successful because this is a really good defensive team. You know, they can switch things and uh, throw different looks at you, whether Roby's at the five or they bring in a, one of the two backups. Uh, they just, they're giving you different looks all the time and it's, it's hard to play against. Two more. Do you think about going big at all? Uh, not, not, not really. Um, you know, we needed, one, especially when we got behind, we needed skill out there. You know, for a long time, and the atmosphere is, uh, you know, it was pretty electric and, I mean, fans were chanting at you. I guess, what, what was your just reaction to that? See, well, you don't pay any attention to what fans say. You aren't in this business 30 years if you pay any attention to that. Uh, but today. what's that? You wouldn't be here. No, I wouldn't. Uh, uh, but, you know, it, it uh, like Mitch said, we haven't had guys that have been in this environment. And unfortunately, that I, I really felt like the first five or six minutes of this game was going to be critical today as to whether the message in the locker room was execution can take the crowd out of the game if you execute. And we just didn't execute well enough on either end of the floor. And, uh, you know, once once the crowd got started, I think that that just added fuel to the fire for the rest of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.